guys what's going on this is FIFA Beetle and today we got a new game we're about to do we're about to do a let's play it's uh, one of my favorite series the creators that made this it's uh, one of the games I don't know if you heard about it it's called Life is Strange they make Life is Strange it's a great game great story based game I didn't I really care for the process of or not the process I mean I didn't really care about playing it until I actually gave it a try and it was actually a really good game especially the second one they were good games. You could, uh, if you have an Xbox, you could uh, get them on Game Pass. Uh, you could check them out there. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this one. This one is called what the hell is it called? This one, this game's called Tell Me Why. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but yeah, it's Tell Me Why, and we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna do some gameplay, and I'm pretty excited to play because these games are pretty cool. They're pretty much uh, they're games where you, your your actions decide the fate or whatever the future of what's gonna happen in the story so it's up to you how you play out the story and you could change it there's probably multiple endings so yeah it's pretty cool stuff so here we go hopefully we don't get freaking copyrighted Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Jesus. Forgot to mention this about some troubled kids. <laughs> so, yeah. Here we go, chapter one, homecoming. Probably where we get copyrighted, but that's all right.
Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. All right, here we go. Let me just fix some settings real quick. All right, so who the hell are we? I need to bring this with me to Juno. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. So is this our room? Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. No. In my desk drawer, maybe? Are we looking for something? All set, I think. To-do list. Still need to find those damn house keys. Oh, okay, we're looking for house keys. Oh, come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Single? What's that? Where the hell those goddamn house keys? Probably not gonna see any stars at this time of day. Why would it be in here? Damn, well, I don't know. Not my room. <sighs> I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. Not here. Okay, man, where the hell are those freaking house keys? On the ground? I've been practicing. I still need to find the house keys. Where Check are they? The bed. Oh, right. I stopped. The hell puts house keys in a freaking shoebox? <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. I think I'm ready to go now. Is it the town, baby? Let's see what's going on out there. Uh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. Who the hell is this guy? Here we go. I'm about to read for you. So, dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey, bro. Just want to give my twin a shout out before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory. Whatever. You'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always think ahead. Anyway, I can hand I, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try to not, not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyways, the veggies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Happy face. Love you, Allison. The hell is this guy? He's in juvie? Or is that for us? I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin, and I'm off. I know most of these by heart at this point. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. The same little bastard that girl has. Oh, so are we in juvie, or what the hell is this? Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Should we read that? God damn it. Okay, we'll read it. 
You know I'm bad at this, but, oh, I mean, hey, Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at-risk yet redeemable youth, haha, <laughs> could it want. Thanks for putting up with and helping me in more days, in more ways than you know. I'll try to make a count outside figured. Uh, for, for, what the hell does that say? Fireweed. Survival is a rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. So there's some kind of like camp for delinquents. <laughs> I'm a freaking delinquent, man. Let's get the hell out of here. So are we in juvie for killing our mom? Is this us, like a couple years later? I, I don't even know if it said that. Damn. Can I just put it in the back seat? Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? I miss the food. Hmm. The sweet taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, yeah, it was home. For a while, you know? Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? Jord? You are welcome to walk. What kind of car is that? Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. 
can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> nope. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah, I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good, good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and Helping his clan organize a potlatch. Look at the houses so, on the top. Smoke Pretty coming out cool. of stone house? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. You think people talk about our house this way? Probably. The hell happened? Killed your mom in that house, I think. If so, we're really going back there, huh? To Stone House? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago. You still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just... Being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? Is that weed? The drugs? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but 
I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I'll just say fine. Quit being a baby. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, here we go. I guess we get to move around this crowded ass ferry while this girl talks on the phone. It's so weird being back on this boat. Let's go look at this guy. He looks pretty cool, right? Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? Oh, I love it, man. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred, baby. Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clink it, I haven't been home in five years. Visiting family, baby boy? Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking if we're related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Well, we're gonna tell him our full name, see what happens. I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... What's this guy looking at? Ronan, huh? Ronan, as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. When everything fails, try doing what the Charming. captain suggests. What the? Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. What a draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. What's that now? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> What's that in there? Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd sixes old and boring folks, are you?
<laughs> Good one. This guy got hood stickers. Yikes. Headshot. Hey, I heard that. Crime control. Canoe for sale, strong and sturdy, fiberglass, transform, transform for five something outboard, $500 includes oars, no bargaining, car text, five five. Call that number if you're interested in a freaking canoe, guys. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? <laughs> Guess not. Can we leave or what the hell? What am I supposed to do here? Here we go. It's a little weird, man. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. What the hell's happening? Is this our house or are we home? Are we trying to After kill you. somebody? What the hell's going on? Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Calm down, little lady. We're going in. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. 
Oh, that's why they were in a you box. You sure that's the right key? Makes sense. Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Okay, I think that's a good place to leave off for the next episode. Next episode, we're gonna be breaking into our own freaking house. Our old house. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode so far. So far, it starts off a little slow, but it picks up, and then the action starts coming down. And that's when we gotta pick it up. So, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Remember to stay Gucci, not Gucci. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.